is the world according to Roger Canute. I'm here at Tropics. Um, been coming to this restaurant for many, many years. Um, Gary's gonna give us this a uh, little bit of insight into Tropics. So Gary, so basically how long have you been here in Regal Park? Okay, so um, I ended up in Regal Park in 1998. I worked for a retailer. I worked for, for JC Penney's. I came here uh, as a store manager at JC Penney's. Uh, managed the store for about seven years. After I departed from Penny's, I came over here and bought Tropics. At the time, it was Tropics Bar and Grill. Um, it was funny because Tropics Bar and Grill had no restaurant. They had no food available. So when we came over here, we updated the name to Tropics Bar and Lounge. And we put food in. Uh, came up with some ideas on how we could uh, take advantage of, uh, of trying to push our food and one of the first things we did was we implemented our our wings uh, in many many flavors okay and as of today we have 28 flavors of wings which uh, were pretty iconic uh, since 2004 on our wings people know us and they love our wings garlic parm Jack Daniels Thai chili many many different flavors that people love and um, you know, we came in here with high expectations of, of being able to uh, being, being able to stay in the market and provide our customers with quality food and good pricing. So, what do you think the key to your longevity in this? Um, you being a staple here in Regal Park, right here in this in this setting, right here. What's the key? I think the key, honestly, and maybe I learned that from uh, my background in retail, is that you have to appreciate your customer. Number one thing for us is that when people walk out of Tropics, we want to make sure that they feel like they are appreciated. There's many, many, many restaurants, many bars you can go to in this area. You can walk down the street to Forest Hills. There's many places there that offer uh, uh, beer, wine, liquor, food. Mm -hmm. But here at Tropics, the one thing that we try to instill in our workers are to make sure that the customer walks out of here knowing they're appreciated. Now, what are the things? What are the things that you're going to do to ensure that you're here another 24 years? What are you doing that you're you're not resting on your laurels right now because you're here all this time? So now, what are you doing now to continue that success? Well, as you, I'm sure, are aware of, you know, right now it's not easy. We just came out of the pandemic. Yes. We're, actually, we're still in a pandemic. Yes. Uh, inflation is uh, out of the box. Um, and what we try to do is we try to um, we try to think about what the customer is looking for. So, for example, we try to come up with some specials. We we are one of the few bars that still have happy hour. Um, we offer specials during the week. Um, and but one of the biggest thing is is that as owner, uh, I try to make it a point to try to communicate with the customer, pick their brain a little bit find out what they like, what they don't like, and based on that information, I, I move forward. Um, and, and one of the last things, this is considered a sports bar, or what do you what do you consider this right here? Because this, um, is it a family setting? What is it, what is this considered as, if you want to put a label, I mean, I know everybody don't want labels, but give me a label. Well, I have to be honest with you, um, I, oh, at the beginning, I thought that we couldn't be everything to everybody. Uh, my background in management is that doesn't work. However, I will tell you that we are a couple things to customers here in uh, in Regal Park. We are a sports bar. Okay. Uh, we try to um, we try to give the customers what they're looking for, whether it's a baseball game, Mets, Yankees, football. We try to um, not try, but we have all the games available. Um, Soccer, we still have some opportunity with soccer. Our soccer clientele uh, sometimes is looking for certain things that we don't have available, but that's something that we're looking at. But yeah, we're a sports bar. Uh, we have, uh, we also have at night, we turn into a club. We have DJs, we have dancing available, we have karaoke. So we try to accommodate that crowd that likes to come in late, uh, likes to dance, likes to hear good music. So yeah, we have DJs on uh, Tuesday nights. Actually, tonight we have an 80s night, which we'll have a DJ here. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some food specials tonight. Thursday is karaoke. Fridays we have an after work party. Saturdays we have DJs. So yeah, we're a little bit to everybody. 
Uh, and it seems to have worked over the years and will continue to challenge yourself to provide our customers with something that's going to satisfy them. Well, Gary, I was gonna, you know, last thing I'll talk, talk, just give me a brief thing about your food. Cause I've been eating a lot of your food here. Um, love the food, but um, what type of emphasis do you have with your food and, your, and, uh, and the cuisine here? Is it more than bar food? Well, I think it is. And I have to tell you that, first of all, we were very lucky because uh, since we've been here for the 18 years, we basically had two chefs in our kitchen. And uh, Javier, who's our chef right now, has been with us for a long time. Okay. Um, the great news is that uh, he's very good at what he does. Uh, we have all fresh food. Our wings, which is a, major, a lot of our business, we buy fresh. We don't buy frozen wings. Uh, his, um, his take on our flavors, our sauces for wings, seems to work garlic parm or jack daniels or thai chili mm -hmm. all, all of these flavors are things that he has worked on and he has um, has done a good job of because people love our wings here but even more than wings we have you know we have a skirt steak we have empanadas we have chicken fingers i mean we do a variety of foods but the biggest thing is is that we have quality and, uh, and we make sure that whatever we serve i don't like to skimp on our food here okay when you pay a price we want to make sure that when the food comes out for example with nachos uh, our nachos here are very good but when the nachos comes out it's not a minimal amount we put our chips out we put a lot of sauce on it we put a lot of cheese on it mm -hmm. and um, and yeah that's important to us sides of fries we want to make sure that we have an adequate amount of fries uh, so yeah the bottom line is is that it's freshness it's quality it's abundance of food and we want to make sure that the customer walks away, again, feeling like whatever they paid, they've got their money's worth. Well, Gary, I want to thank you for giving me a few minutes in answering the question. I'm, I'm quite sure the audience is going to really enjoy this interview. But thank you and keep up the great success in Regal Park and that Tropics for years to come. Well, again, I, I want to appreciate the fact that you're giving this opportunity to talk to, talk to our customers. Um, I will say that um, I hope we are no, around another 20 years, although at my age now, I'm not rushing 20 uh, years, my No, friend. no, we don't rush. But, uh, but yeah, we're here. If anyone has any complaints or anything that they don't like about Tropics, we're here to listen. We want to make sure that everyone comes here, walks out, satisfied. Thanks a lot, Gary. Thank you. All right. Gary gave me um, eight, six, seven minutes to tell me about Tropics. Um, I've been coming to Tropics for years here in Regal Park. It's a nice neighborhood restaurant. But Gary is, um, he's a gem. Um, come on out, support Tropics, Regal Park, Four Seals. Um, continue to watch my videos with the world according to Roger Canoop. Subscribe, DM, make comments. You'll keep getting content just like you're getting right now about great restaurants like Tropics. Until the next video, I'm out.